What's up, Technology family? Welcome back to another episode of the Technology News Talk. And today we have a couple of news updates and announcements for you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. As you all know, we all been wondering uh, where is the UFC, uh, UFC fighting uh, island is going to be, and where is it going to be at, and when we gonna start seeing uh, fight matchups at, at this island? Well. To your answer, we finally know where it's at. So, the UFC Fighter Island is going to be at Yas Island in Abu Dhabi. So, that was quite a surprise for me. And um, for for my for my for my thought, I thought the Fight Island is going to be somewhere in like in the in the Caribbean somewhere. But they had to find a place that's like. Doesn't have a lot of coronavirus cases somewhere, or doesn't have a coronavirus uh, uh, over there. So, Abu Dhabi, that is a great place because I remember um, when they, when they shot uh, Fast and the Furious Seven over there, and that look, uh, that's going to be great uh, over there. So, not only that, they announced the location of the UFC Fight Island, but they have announced dates of when they go out the next uh, UFC uh, pay per views and uh, and events over there. So. The fight, UFC Fight Island will start on July 11th, 15th, 18th, and 25th. And we already know the uh, the card for the first one on July 11th for, U- for UFC uh, 2051. So, yeah, this is uh, the main card uh, uh, for, from there. Uh, we have U.S. Man versus Burns for the War, uh, Waterweight Championship. Uh, Vrasquez versus Holloway 2 for the World Featherweight Championship. Jan versus Aldu for the World Bantamweight Championship. Uh, we have Andrade versus Norman Diaz 2. And Rubius versus Van Sar- uh, the Flutterway bout. So, that should be a good fight. And, um, I can't wait to see what the, um, what the, uh, the location and setting is going to look like when they have the, uh, the octagon. And, uh, for the look at, um, for what I saw on Twitter... It looks like they're either gonna be uh, outside and uh, you know, at the beach somewhere. I don't know if they are, if they're gonna have a like an indoor pl- place to have the um the fight island, but um I just can't wait to see how they're gonna, uh, gonna do it from there. And other than that, uh, moving on to uh, to our next topic, let's talk about um they finally revealed uh, what the PlayStation Five is gonna look like. So. Looking at the, the uh, at the design uh, of the PlayStation Five, it looks really good. I I really do like it. I I think this looks better than the Xbox Series S at the when they review their their console. I really think it looks better. But other than that, um, I still have questions in regards to uh to the PlayStation Five. One of my uh, uh questions is is that. They uh they have two uh, do uh, they have two separate consoles. They have one that uh, that has a, with the disc, and one that has a, a a digital only. So. So you got to think of uh, which one it, um is going to cost more, uh is the regular PlayStation Five, or the PlayStation Digital uh, Digital Edition, and and with that. With the regular, with the regular uh, PlayStation Five, are we still gonna have the uh, the, the digital on there, or is it gonna be separate from uh, from there? So that's another question uh, to look at. And um, they also revealed uh, on the headsets, the controllers, and the um, the remote control and everything. But I also have another question: is that are they gonna uh, allow to play PlayStation Four games? into the, the PlayStation 5. So, my thing is that um, I think all the great PlayStation 4 games like the uh, like Red Redemption 2, um, the Star Wars the Jedi for Fallen Order, I think they should remaster those games and put it in, in, into uh, PlayStation 5. And same thing for the, um, for the, uh, the, for the great PlayStation 2 games like uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, The Warriors, Max Payne, uh, WWE SmackDown, uh, uh, Shut Your Mouth, and um, Here Comes the Pain. So, like, those games. And also Dev Jam Fight for New York. Um, 
they should remaster those games and put it into PlayStation 5. So we have that good old PlayStation 2 games that, that we could play on, on PlayStation 5. So that's my thoughts of the, the, uh, with the games. And also, uh, are they going to have apps on there where you can play like like streaming server there, like DZ Plus and Netflix and Hulu? That's another question on there. They haven't put out much details that it is, uh, uh, but we expect they're going to hear uh, more details soon as the PlayStation 5 will be released on, in, a, in a holiday season of this year. And speaking of uh, games in a holiday season, we also got a review of the, of the new Spider-Man uh, uh, standalone sequel, sequel game to the 2018's Marvel Spider-Man, which is called Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. And I'm great. It's great to see Miles Morales get his own uh, uh, story game. After he was in the uh, Marvel's uh, uh, Spider-Man, there was a few uh, couple moments in the game that you could play him, but he didn't develop into his spider uh, form yet at the time in that game. But now we get to see uh, uh, in a Spider-Man form in this game. So let me read the synopsis here. Continue from the former negative uh, narr- narrative of, of Marvel Spider-Man. And is his DC, the city that never sleeps. Miles Morales have gained spider-like abilities as have been bitten by a generated spider-hand spider, similar to Peter Parker. Continue this training on the P- Peter's uh, uh, knowledge. As he attempts to be New Yorker's next city hero, so I saw the trailer and it looks real good. It looks so similar, like if it was an actual movie. Like the graphics are, uh, look, look great. Um, I really expect this is going to be a great game, just like the uh, uh, the Marvel Spider-Man one uh, game in 2018. So I can't wait to hear more details with the game and also with uh, with PlayStation Five uh, that down the road. And other than that, moving on to our next topic. So, there's been a lot of music festivals that have been canceled. So, here's another one that's been canceled. So, Coachella and Stagecoach Music Festivals canceled for 2020. Uh, ongoing with the coronavirus concerns. But plan on to have a uh, 2021 return. So, here's the, uh, the mission statement uh, uh, with that. This is not a future of any day's hope or to confront, but our main focus is to remain well-being for our fans, staff, artists, desert partners, and everyone involved with the festival. Read as a press kit from Coachella a team of Fox News on that Thursday. A year without Coachella uh, is hard to us to compare, but we have every intention to returning uh, in 2021. So the release has to confirm that Coachella is planned to uh, for a April 9th to uh, through 11th and April 16th to April 18th of 2021. While Stagecoach will take place from April 23rd to April 25th of, of 2021. So that's the announcements there. Uh, uh, as regards to uh, Coachella and Stagecoach, there's another one saying, we're looking forward to sharing our new lineups and more information as soon as, soon as possible we can. We cannot wait to be there in the desert again when it's safe so i think that's a good strategy uh um to cancel it this year to make sure um i hope we get a vaccine for the for the coronavirus so that way they could be back at um well but by the time they hits april 2021 so coachella gonna be ready to, to be ready to go and uh moving on to our next topic so we already said that uh, that the nba is going to be um we started this season um, at, at Walt Disney World Resort at the ESPN Wider World of Sports. So, also, the Major League Soccer announced that they will have their preseason start at Walt Disney World Resort as well at, at the ESPN Wider World of Sports. But we have some also other news here saying that the Major League Soccer to be housed at Walt Disney World Swap and Dolphin Resort for the upcoming MMS uh, is back tournament. So here is the um uh, the, the the statement as regards to the um the the um for the uh <clears throat> for the M- for the MMS uh um going into uh, uh standing at standing at the at the swamp uh, uh, dolphin resort. 
just for the engineer how Disney fans would expect the players will be staying in prevention. In addition to the screenings and testings described me above, the MMS Task Force has worked on the leads and experts to create guidelines and best practice to help reduce risk and prevent spread of COVID-19, these included. Wear face and covering face masks, social distancing, general hygiene, avoid touching faces, washing hands frequently, involve sharing food, bottles, towels, and equipment, cleaning and sensor data services. The Walt Disney World Resort and the Swap and uh, Dolphin Hotel will be providing hands clean in all venues, forcing appropriate captivity management and other social distancing guidelines. So, between the MMS and the NBA are looking to resume their, uh, their season at Walt Disney World, there is a nuts much to expect to the most all Disney fans just where we are seeing these teams will be housing. But for now, it seems that, uh, that the MMS will be staying at the Swamp uh, Resort. So, it just revealed that um, that the Swamp and, 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 and Dolphin will no longer accept new reservations to the end of July. But, the MMS is back tournament is scheduled to begin on July 8th and set to run through uh, Ju- uh, August 11th. So this season is kind of short, uh, short uh, compared to the NBA where their season is going to run from July to October. So that's the, uh, the the news from there. If there's any more news, uh, we'll be back on, uh, on this topic as regards to the, to the uh, Major Soccer League and the NBA news. And going on to our next topic is that um, that cops have finally canceled with all their 30 seasons that, that they had. So Paramount and they have reached, reached a statement on, on canceling cops. So this news came about with all the events going on with the protests and, uh, and the rioting and also to the events of, of, of George Floyd. So I think this is a good uh, uh, decision on their part because... Yeah, this is like a um, uh, this is like a reality show, and like all the stuff that we've seen, and like all the stuff uh, that that's going on. I'm glad that um, that that that's got canceled. I mean, I like uh, uh co- cops like uh, uh like like their theme song with uh, bad boys, bad boys, because this is similar to like the um to the bad boys movies and stuff. That's only uh, I like the the music and stuff, but I don't uh never watch it like I used to before, but. I wasn't that really into it at cops there, but they're also thinking uh, um, of canceling other cops and police related shows uh, like, for example, um, Booker Nine Nine, NYPD, um, Chicago PD, um, the, and other cop shows. For my opinion, I don't think they should really cancel those shows because that they're not really uh, those are not real, and then like. Um, even though we uh, we see those stuff happening in uh, in those cities, but that's just a show. I mean, uh, it's not like it's a reality show like Cops and uh, or like Live and, and PD. So I don't see there's no sense of uh, of canceling shows like that. Just don't make no sense or like uh, uh, from there. But if, when the people uh, they speak your mind, but you gotta uh, uh, let them know how it is, but. I don't see like uh, Chicago PD or like uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine or Law and Order be um, the the case of this situation as it is. But for cops and NYP and Live PD, I see that shows uh, uh, being a uh, a situation for, for the cases that that we see right now. That's the only thing I can see from there. But that's my state of opinion on that. I don't know what's gonna happen with the other shows from that, but. We'll just have to wait and see if the, if the studios gonna make a decision on those on their respective uh, uh, cops and, and, and police shows. And uh, moving on to our next topic, so we were all excited that HBO Max is coming, but they have some bad uh, butchers uh, upon their release. Not only did they come out with the with support of Rohu and Amazon City Fire, but now they find out that some of their biggest titles are leaving on July 1st. Movies like Batman v Superman, Justice League, Wonder Woman, and a bunch of other DC titles. What was the uh, 
there was a question asking what was the point of launching them if you're just going to remove them for a few weeks later and what the heck are they doing so that's the question i had because like like during uh, before the launch they had a, like a bunch of movies saying like oh we're gonna leave the, uh, these movies um to please our audience and then so, like a few weeks later um you're gonna uh, have them disappear i'm like that just made no sense like I can get the uh, the other movie titles that doesn't relate to like like Warner Brothers New Line or like DC, but movie but movie all the DC titles that just made no sense. I'm like, what is y'all doing? Unless y'all have something new a uh, uh, plan from there, so they have to get their stuff together. And like, if you want HBO Max to be a good um, streaming service, to, uh that people gonna want to uh, come in to watch, but I know um, most of the fans are excited for like for the, the Snyder Cut, and everybody's just waiting till next year uh, to uh, to watch that. But um, even though from there, but you gotta have still have something to uh, to let the uh, the viewers watch before twenty twenty one comes uh, to to, uh, to have the Snyder Cut there. So that's my. Uh, the thoughts and opinion on that so let's go to our last topic of the day so amc says almost all the u.s theaters will be reopening in july even though the chain reported they had lost uh, two million billions in most recent quarters uh, due like the bankruptcy when the pandemic uh, started going on but they still content on releasing their theaters uh, uh, reopen their theaters in July in time for tenant to um uh, to be open. That's if uh, a tenant is going to be going to stay on their release date on July seventeenth. So we already heard the other news saying like uh, Regal is going to be open up soon. Uh, says uh, Cinemark is going to be open up soon as well. So now we see AMC is going to uh, uh, it's going to reopen. So let's read the other. Is, is statements uh, that they have so there's plenty of other movies that's going to be uh released in july like uh unhinge um mulan along with tenant and other movies that's going to be happening so when these uh uh, uh when these movie theaters open up they have to think about that not only the safety of uh for the workers and also same for the audience so this is what they should do so they can't have no more people at at least 20 or 30 uh, percent they should have only 20 and 30 percent capacity in their theaters they must purchase their tickets online in advance don't have the box of a window open only open for a theater if they bought their tickets uh, 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 online or maybe uh, uh, per, uh and then if they have enough seats uh, uh, available, that's when they go open the box, uh, um, the box over up uh, to, 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 to get tickets. And also, they uh, inside the theaters, they just um, have one or two seats spaced apart from from, uh, from other uh, fans from there uh, when they do have, when they have the seating. And also, they should do like a temperature a temperature check, like what Disney and Universal is doing with it at the theme parks. They should, should do a temperature check to make sure they ain't got no virus or like symptoms or like stuff like that. So that's my uh, thoughts on when they when they're gonna uh, open up the theaters. So I hope they uh, go by the, the the rules that I mentioned, and hope it uh, will be uh, going back to the movie theaters and going back to normal as soon as possible as we can. But, um, yeah, that's our topics for today. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts and opinions that, that we uh, discussed for today. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell when new episodes are uploaded. And other than that, this is Trico, and I'm signing off. Peace.